Hi, I'm Diana and welcome to New York Stories. In this episode, we interviewed Nobel Prize winner Martin Chalfie about the GFP research. For those of you who don't know, GFP is green fluorine protein and it glows when exposed to ultraviolet or black light. When you shine a black light on a GFP on worm, you can see the GFP inside the worms move around. And you guys know who I am. Yes. Marty, yeah. Marty <laughs> Chalfi, that you're, you're going to pepper me with questions. How did you feel when you won the Nobel Prize? Um, I was pretty happy. <laughs> you know? I had a picture of the animal. This is the intestine of the animal. You can see right through the animal and see the intestine. The animal mm -hmm. is transparent. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that was really important. And so when Paul Brown said, you only have to shine blue light on here and you get green light out, and remember, I'm looking, I'm, I've been working on a transparent animal all this time, and I want to know where genes are turned on. It's not a great discovery to say, wow, what if we put this in the animal? If we have that promoter driving this, all we have to, we don't have to poke holes in it. All we have to do is shine light on that transparent animal. Shine blue light on it, and we'll get green, and we'll be able to see where it is. So I was pretty excited about that. I know this is a plea against reality, but my feeling in all of this is that it would be a wonderful thing if sometimes, if you're really interested in science, or whatever you're really interested in, don't do it for the great. Do it for the, you know, the enjoyment of what you do and get excited about what uh, you're involved in. Anyway, that's enough advice. Right? <laughs> anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On our experiment, we insert the GFP gene into E. coli bacteria using a small circular chromosome called a plasmid. What kind GFP of GFP is a green Florence protein. And when you insert that protein into some cells, it will turn, it will glow, the cells will glow, and then it will make the scientists more easy to look at it and see what's the problem. Hi, Diana, where are you now? I'm in science class. Um, what are you doing here? We're gonna do an experiment. Like what? G. J. GFP. GFP. Okay. Yeah. See, the different bacteria grow differently. This is a contaminating organism. No good. And this is the bacteria that we want to work with. They look different. One is yellow, right? And one is. So you have bacteria in here? Yes. You see that spot? Oh. That's a different one. Now we're going to take the bits and add it so we can shake it and the bacteria will spread around. It takes about two days for the E. coli cells in our experiment to multiply enough to become visible. The cells that have the GFP gene inside, it, the, inside them more form colonies and glow in black light. I really like to do science though. I, I love to do the chemistry part and the biology too. Actually, I see science taking me to be a veterinarian. I heard that that can be we can find some cures for some disease, genetic engineering. So that's why I like it. So maybe we can. I might find like a cure for cancer, AIDS, maybe. I, don't know. I found that like because with genetics we can find like some cure, like she said, for finding disease. And I want to be a medical researcher in my future. I'm going to be an uh, aerospace engineer, mm -hmm. and I like to work at NASA, and I hope so someday I will. And I'm interested in the biomedical engineering. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have today. Turn in the next time for another New York story.